Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I've been printing this fractal pyramid a bit, and I'm gonna do one more video on it. I have something I need to test, and, well, I, I did size it up a bit, of course, on my G-Max, but regardless, let's do this. You ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. So like I said, that fractal pyramid, I've. I've been printing it. I really like this model. It's, it's so cool. And you just stare at it because it's neat. I, I, I printed this on multiple printers and I've used multiple filaments. In fact, if you look right here, this is the orange one. I printed this in filamentive recycled PET on the 3D Gents 1 3D printer while I was at Bill Duran's 3D printing party. And uh, if you look at uh, Barnacles' recap video or or the Punished Props recap video, you can kind of see me talking about it there. But this one is still a bit small and I wanted to size it up. And of course, with my GMAX printer, I can print things huge. So I did. You ready? Time lapse. <laughs> Well, the time lapse is done on that, and on my GMAX printer, I still had that Protopasta Pine PLA, and I printed it in a spiral vase mode in Simplify 3D, and it, it looks awesome. It really looks awesome. I love that filament, and I love the way the light looks when it hits it, and I love the look of this model, and what's interesting, because it's in spiral vase mode, it's all one continuous line of filament and I chose zero bottom layers. So it moves, it moves a little bit. Look at that, you can actually, it moves a little bit because it's, it's all one line and it's a fractal pyramid. It's so cool. Well, with the G-Max printer, I still had some filament left on that roll. So this one was sized 400% of the model's original size. This one is 600%, and it's so much bigger, and I love it just as much. And look, there are no bottom layers, and so it's, it's one continuous line of filament in vase mode, so this stuff, this stuff all moves around, and it's light, and it looks cool. I know I've already done a video on this fractal pyramid, but there's a couple reasons why I'm doing this one. One, it's because I did have that protopasta filament still on the G-Max printer, and I thought I could print some pyramids in spiral mode and see how they look. And again, they did turn out really well. I did print this one at 600% scale compared to the original model with this one at 400% scale of the original model. And this is cool, but I'm testing a new method of holding contests on my channel. And so I, I wanna give these away. I wanna give away this pyramid and I wanna give away this pyramid. So in five words or less, Tell me in the comments, what do you eat for breakfast? In order to enter this contest, you need to tell me what you like to eat for breakfast in the comments down below. Each comment you leave is an entry in the contest and on September 1st, I'll draw a winner and someone will get this pyramid and I'll draw another winner and someone will get this pyramid. That's right, two winners, one will get this, one will get this, and I will ship these to you wherever you are in the world because they are awesome and I hope you love them. Well, there we go. We've printed a cool fractal pyramid. I'm testing it out a new way to pick winners for a contest. Uh, this is, this is going to be fun. So again, leave a comment down below telling me what you like to eat for breakfast in five words or less, and I will pick a winner for the big pyramid, and I will pick another winner for the small period on September 1st. Obviously, any comment left after September 1st is not valid for the contest, but I'll still read it and get hungry because I'm t you're telling me what you want to eat for breakfast, and I like, I like breakfast. Hey, this was fun. Thanks for coming along with me on this new contest test journey. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you like things such as this. Leave a comment down below if you enjoy breakfast and want to tell me what you like to eat for breakfast in five words or less. I can't believe I just said that. 
Big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Their financial support helps ensure the channel is ready for the 21st century. Um, that's it, you guys. Come on, hug each other more. I love you lots. As always, high five.